Hey, I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 772. Google is testing a new feature that I can't wait to get my hands on. They're integrating Google Voice with Gmail. For those of you not familiar, Google Voice is a service where you sign up for a number, no monthly fees, and when people call that number, it rings to as many real numbers as you want, your cell phone, your home, your work, etc. So far, it's only worked on phones with an app. But why stop there? Why not make it work from your Gmail account so you can make and receive calls on your computer? No reason at all why not, so Google is. I don't know when this will be rolled out, but as soon as I try it, I'll be tweeting about it for sure. Rock Band 3 is getting a real looking keyboard. The development team says they really want to make it possible for players to develop skills instead of just playing. The keys span two octaves and on lower levels you can kind of just get close to hitting the right keys, but the more advanced you get, of course, you'll need to be more accurate. There are color codes at the top of the keys to give you guidance. You can play it standing up or sitting down and there's a touch strip that will let you do, quote, some really cool things. Kindle can now get wet thanks to Image. The Guardian is molded plastic and gives you a secure watertight seal around your precious e-reader. Mostly I imagine people would use this on a floaty thingy out on the pool or relaxing in a nice hot bath, mainly to avoid splashes from ruining your reading experience, but you can take it about three feet underwater. So if you're spending a lot of time on the water this summer, $80 worth of protection isn't such a bad idea. Nathan Linder, a student at MIT, is working on the Liminar. It's a robotic arm that makes the most out of Pico projection. Take a look. This is the Luminar lamp. It's a new augmented reality robotic interface. It has basically two parts. One is the Luminar bulb, which I'm holding in my hand right now. It's a compact form factor for a projector camera system. This is the projector. This is the camera. This is capable of projecting information and interfaces on the environment and surfaces. So it can be your desk or it can be the wall. Here in particular, in this setup, we have an articulated robotic arm that we can drive around. For example, if I gesture it like so, then maybe, maybe it can move to a different location in my space. And this location, can be one that I've taught this robot to find again and show me my email app. Or maybe when I'm working on my desk, this robot can figure out where is a space without clutter so, so it can decide to actually give me that application over there. So it's designed for quick interaction. We have a design that contains all the components required to do all this in the bulb. So you can actually take this bulb and put it in a standard light fixture like this one. And although it's not robotic, you can set it up to have coverage of an area you're interested in. This is a new form factor for a computer. Now, most computers that we know of today are prison cells for pixels. The pixels are on screens. This uh, interface, this robotic information interface, releases the pixels from the screen. Basically, we can put them on other spaces. It's a system that can reach further into your real environment and put uh, digital information virtually anywhere. Thanks so much for watching. You can follow more tech news from me at twitter.com slash Callie Lewis and facebook.com slash Callie Lewis. Bye.